Hey guys, Custom Computing here with another video. Uh, in today's video, it's uh, an archived footage of what I did earlier in the winter. Uh, I haven't been able to get much uh, stuff done since the ransomware attack. Uh, still trying to recover from that. And um, it's, it's been pretty difficult on my end here. So I pieced together some of the archive footage of me using my uh, mining rigs, uh, connecting it to my furnace. So it was really cold in December and January, and I figured this was going to help me with the heat in the, syst uh, heat in the house. And uh, there was some caveats that you'll be able to see at the very end. But uh, for now, it went as planned, except for one thing, which made me have to revert the whole thing back. So stay around uh, to the end so you can hear what caveats there might be when you guys are doing this yourselves. All right, see ya. Okay, so we have all of these triple mining. I just shut them all off now, so it's nice and quiet. What I'm gonna do today is we're going to be routing one of these uh, outtakes into my uh, HVAC intake. So get my firmus takes in the air here and then heats it up and, and exits it into the house. I'm having a lot of trouble heating this house. It's a big house with a lot of uh, floor space and this uh, behind the servers is typically around 32 degrees Celsius and in front of the servers it's 21 degrees so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be taking one of these AC infinity fans I'm gonna remove it from here block off that because that's the window so block it off so that no air is coming in from this this gap here take this AC infinity fan we're going to Install it at the back there where you can see the um, kind of the unicorn uh, the unicorn attachment. We're going to drill a hole right through the wall here directly into the side of this HVAC. So it's going to go right into here and then it'll just suck the hot air and pull it through to the house. So that's pretty pretty basic but uh, this is a big job so for now we're gonna have to remove these servers take these all off sorry for the shaking and take these all out of the room so I can actually work back there and then we're gonna get going on uh, removing this and placing it over to here so here we go okay so we've got all the servers out now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to reconfigure this area here. So we're going to pull this off and we're going to remove this AC infinity fan. And we're going to find out where we're going to be able to install it over there so that we're going to be able to suck out from there and then cut a hole through the drywall right into the other side of the intake on the furnace. So there's going to be a lot of cutting and it's going to get pretty dirty, but it should be pretty fun. All right, so we've got it taken out over here, the uh, AC Infinity fan, clogged that up with some uh, sealant. And now we've just positioned this uh, bracket over here. So it's gonna come from back here. This is the back of the server. It's gonna suck the air through there. And now we're gonna do a 90 degree into here. So we're gonna just find out where the studs are, make sure we're not hitting any of them. And then we're gonna cut a unbelievably big hole into the side here. And then we get to cut into my furnace intake, which is a little scary, but I mean, it's just metal, right? All right, so we've got the hole cut directly to the vent. This is about a, an eight inch hole. So that's where we're gonna attach it. Basically all I have to do now is cut uh, the eight inch circle here uh, and tape in the unicorn mesh or whatever unicorn tube to out here where we're going to reattach everything. I just need to get some room here to, to cut this. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting that 
into a eight inch circle. All right, there it is, right through. It's a little bit rough, but that's okay. We're gonna be attaching a unicorn tubing right through, taping it down, and then we'll get it set up here. Sweet. Whoa, look at that. That is so cool all the way through. Everything is taped up. There's no seals. And we are going to be hopefully trying to angle this a bit. So it's straight here, but we need to kind of angle it so that the airflow is going like with the airflow. Anyways, this is cool. Amazing. All right, so we got it hooked up. It's all taped in. This is secure, the AC Infinity fan. And now we just gotta basically put back <coughs> the uh, plank of wood here uh, up to where it was. And then we're done. Put everything back and see how it goes. Okay, we are done. So we finished patching up the seal. Seals up here, you can see the vent is getting sucked out right there and it's covered with cardboard, any seal. Uh, all the computers are up there. Sorry for the camera, it's very hard. Um, so they're gonna be pumping air out directly into that vent, which we just saw go right into my house. And yeah, we've got a lot of the cables already um, set up. So all the power is set up here on the PDU, the 30 amp PDU right here, which is for these three Octaminers. We're not using that one there. Uh, these are the internet cables, and then there's a bunch of internet cables down here as well for uh, the front servers as well. I, I wish I had custom length cables, but uh, don't have that. Anyway, so we've got that set up. We also have uh, finished installing the uh, LED panel for my 30 amp circuit, which is really cool. It gives us the ability to see the exact wattage that we're pulling. And we still have an additional 30 amp circuit here, which we're probably not gonna need because all of those circuits are free now. <laughs> so I've got more power back here than I could probably uh, ever use, which is a good thing to have. And so now we're gonna push back the server case and turn on the servers. Okay, it's completely done. This vent is going outside and the other vent is going back into my house. And we just started mining, so it's gonna get to about 31 degrees in here. And all the seals are done, except for the door over here, obviously. But there's no seals left. And that is going directly into side of my furnace as you can see right there so unfortunately because we didn't account for the sound of the affinity fan going directly into the furnace and resonating throughout the entire house because we had built this wall that's soundproof uh, I didn't think to that the noise would be so loud but having the affinity fan hooked directly into the furnace essentially is reverberating through every single uh, outlet. So we had to revert it. It was a good project. It worked for a few days, but then I had to take it apart. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.